Hi, this is Ishmael. After the beep, leave me a message about a book you love. I transcribe and share at least one voicemail every day. Hi, Ishmael. I'm calling to tell you about The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. I read it when I was 16, and I found myself swept into the beauty of the English countryside and that little world by the river. I read it again and again. I just wanted to live it. The thing is, is that much later, I really did live the book, but not in the way I expected. Like Portly, the young otter, my two-year-old son vanished. We had gone down to the mailroom in our apartment building. I bent down to open the mailbox for a minute, and when I turned around, he was gone. I rushed into the hall and into the street, and I couldn't find him. He had completely disappeared. Five frantic minutes later, which really did feel like an eternity, he was found hiding behind a trash bin. We were grateful, and we were lucky. Um, He didn't even know he was missing, but he could have been snatched, and he could have been lost to us. Yet, somehow, he was protected and returned to us. The chapter I'm thinking about in The Wind in the Willows is Piper at the Gates of Dawn. The real shock of the chapter is that the life of the child away from the parent is actually better and more magical. So, as my children have grown and they've left for schools and camps and travels, I've always thought about the piper keeping watch over them. The idea of the piper at the gates of dawn watching out for my children out there is all these years later what's let me let them go and do what they have to do. And thank you very much.